How's it? My name is Duke Ipa, Ipa Surfboards. Board making's been in our family for, uh, gosh, generations. Me, personally, it was just growing up around it. Um, obviously, there was some lessons that came with it from dad that uh, are now just more instinct than thoughts. When I'm working on boards, it's more of an impression on on an emotion or, or a feeling that I get from the person that wants the board. If I have a really good feeling of, of, of who they are as a person and a surfer, then I put all of that together because it's more than just mathematical dimensions. There's feeling that goes into a board. It's a shaper's mana, a shaper's energy, passion that goes in to something that is ultimately going to make someone really happy. To IPA, to us, to our family, this design, the Sting, is, is very, very, very specific to our, uh, to my father, to, to the name. This feature is called a sting. Uh, came about in 1973. My dad uh, went to a boat race and noticed that the fastest boat on the water was the hydrofoil boat. When the hydrofoil boat would turn, it created such a large rush and release of water and an, a, just an insane directional turn that it just fired in his head. He's like, oh, I'm gonna put that outline on a board and see what it does. And uh, put it on one of his uh, main riders at the time, Larry Bertelman, put it under his feet. And Larry at the time was already doing things that was so ahead of the curve that no one else could even think about doing. But once Larry took this thing out, it just took his surfing to a whole different level and the turns that he was doing were just unfathomable for, for that time period. And when my dad was watching him surfing, he noticed and remarked to himself out loud, whoa, Larry sting the wave. So he's like, sting. And that, from that day forward, this design has been a key root in any winged board that is out there today. So this is much more than a design application. This is a part of the soul of it because it really embodies the blend and balance aspect. And it's just like yin and yang, it's the same thing with surfboard shaping. You're, you are blending and balancing an outline, contours, Emotion, scientific application, and natural response to a somewhat unnatural medium. One day I was looking through Instagram and I saw this insane artist pop up. His art was killer. We, we connected and I stopped by his gallery and saw what he was doing and, and couldn't help but notice that he too had a very specific um, style. I mean, most artists do have a style, but Steve hands down has a style where you see it, you're like, oh yeah, that's a Steve Adam. When you see the Sting surfboard, you know where it came from. That's, oh yeah, that, that's, an, that's an IPA. There is no other, and I could probably say no other very comfortably, no other design that is so instantly recognized and automatically connected to its creator than our board.
with Steve having that really unique uh, style, we started talking and, and we did a board, then we did another board, and then we did another board. We ended up getting involved with Agave Surf that made these Agave blanks. And boy, it just took things to an entirely different level. And I, I never thought that that we as a, a surf brand, uh, surfboard builders, would ever really create something so specific in an artisan way than what we're doing with Steve Adam. This, this is gonna be a really tricky one because of how delicate, it is delicate the yeah. wood is. So, yeah. so let's do that one first and then save that one for last. So it's amazing what what a little bit of motivation and, and passion can can do for you. My, my dad came from a really poor family, from a plantation, and by all means, he just should have been a poor plantation worker. But he didn't let his situation define him. And it's, it's amazing what he's done. A legendary surfer, legendary legendary shaper. Legendary surf coach, the first surf coach, and has shared his his knowledge of the sport with so many that have allowed them to move on and have successful careers in the sport. So it's more than just surfboard shaping, more than surfing. It's it's impact on people's lives. That that's what our family is.